Matt, um, was your glass half full or half empty on Tuesday? You didn't score, but you came through the 90 minutes and with no ill effect. Um, yeah, I suppose it's a, it's a good point. I mean, we're, we're fairly happy with the point. I think first half, uh, they were the better side. Um, they had a lot of the ball and, and we kind of had to dig in and, and stuff. Um, second half, we had a few chances. Um, obviously, a disallowed goal. So, I mean, um, I don't think we can be over the top happy, but I think I think a point is a, is a fairly positive result uh, away from home, a, a good side, and uh, and it's important we didn't lose. Well, I mean, I mean, we've got everyone knows we've got a few injuries and stuff, and we've got quite an inexperienced team, so you've got to take that into account, um, and we've just got to stay positive within the group. What's it like going into a game when you are down to your bare bones and you're not even able to name a, a full quota of substitutes? Um, well, if you're playing, you can't really dwell on it too much. You've just got to get on with the game and, and do your best. Um, obviously, in an ideal world, you kind of have a bit of freshness and, and experience on the bench to bring on, uh, which can ultimately change change a game. I mean, they made some subs early on in the game because they had them, them options. Um, it's also people who maybe haven't played loads of football um, I mean, the last 20 minutes was, was tough for me. Um, but no, it's what I needed, and uh, I'm really looking forward now to, the, to kicking on and staying injury-free. Yeah, and I guess the manager's having to look after you like he did at York recently. Um, I suppose in your head you kind of want to be playing every game, but you have to understand that it's not as simple as that. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think it was, um, I think it was if I just had kind of a little uh, problem, then I would have been fine to play um, at York and stuff like that. But it's just I've had... Um, couple of groin issues which and ones which which is a bit of an ongoing thing that I've just got to manage so it was um it's fine whatever whatever's best for the team you know um I, I'm totally all right with that and uh, I'm still building my way to to my top level you know um and I'm, j I'm just getting getting back into the swing of playing so um no I mean I, I really obviously enjoy enjoy being out there fighting for points and, and trying to do well and I know the situation we're in we we need that so um but at the same time you have to kind of be a bit sensible with um, with the state of the squad because it's uh, quite threadbare at the moment. Yeah, you've worked a lot with Mitch Harding, no doubt. Um, he took one for the team, didn't he, playing in midfield on Tuesday and acquitted himself well. Yeah, really well. I'm really pleased for Mitch. He's a really good lad, um, uh, and he's and he's got a great attitude, you know, around the place. He uh, he um, he's like a model professional. So no, it was, I was really uh, really pleased for him. He's he's gone in there. He's played in midfield a bit in the reserves and stuff. Um, but it's going to a, a big game, like, a local game, when we bring a lot of um, a lot of travelling support. Uh, I thought he'd done really well, and uh, he should be proud of himself. Yeah. Rovers need a win, don't they? But um, is, is it difficult because there are extenuating circumstances at the moment? John Waters, I'm not an excuses man, and he, he isn't. But um, you just want to win hook by hook or crook, don't you, on Saturday? Yeah, of course. But um, you know, we, we've just got to go out and play and, and and do as best as we can. What what will be will be. We need to put in a. Um, we need to go out there and perform and hopefully a performance will equal a result. Um, we've, we've got injuries but I still think we've got a good team and a good um, good player so um, we just can't we can't dwell on it too much you know we've got to, we've got to get on with it every team has got these problems okay we've probably got more than most but um, it's one of them things we've got to deal with and we've all got to, all got to stick together be professional and um, and, and try and get them points. And I guess at three o'clock you don't really think about the league or the league table, do you? You might have a sneaky look in the week, but come Thursday, come a Saturday afternoon, you're just thinking about the game ahead. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at the league table a lot this season. I've got to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's obviously a difficult, a bit of a difficult situation we're in. But only us can get ourselves out of it. So there's no point feeling sorry for yourself or or overthinking about the situation. We've just got to. Uh, just got to stay strong together and keep believing in ourselves. And um, finally, about penalties, John Joe O'Toole appears to be the new penalty taker at Bristol Rovers, but he's not playing on Saturday. Is it you or Lee Brown at the moment um, would step up on Saturday if there were one? Um, to be honest, I, I haven't really thought about it. Um, I mean, I'm I'm more than happy to step up and take it. Um, I'm sure Clarky was have something to say about that as well. So there's a few candidates, but um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm I think I've got a good penalty record. It's just I've missed my last one in. Um, in a very frustrating manner, which still annoys me. But um, but yeah, no, I'm happy to I'm happy to take that, um, uh, and I'm confident. Good stuff, thank you.